Hi and welcome back to the Spoken World Podcast. You're right, you see Mr. Monsieur Chocolat Noir, Jamie Alexander this time, so my caramel skin, the um, brother behind the camera will be in the shot soon. How are you guys? Come sit down, man. What are you saying? What are you saying? I'm good. I'm good. Good. I'm happy. I'm happy too because we had no technical dif- difficulties this time, <laughs> as per usual. So now it's fine. So obviously, I feel like I'm going to win the lottery tonight, not today. Some good news over the weekend as well. I won't go into that because um, security security reasons, you know, it is. What? <laughs> security <laughs> reasons, bro. That's the... That's the no, I'll, I'll tell you why I'm happy, yeah? The reception for my last video. Uh, the response for my last video. The reception... You got love this time, man. We both got love. What reception? I'm talking in terms of just like views and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Highest view video. Well, second highest view video. After Make It Make Sense. Yeah. yeah. The, the original, the OG. So, yeah, nah, that was a good podcast, man. Let's see, but you might, when you mentioned a person's name, <laughs> can pattern your whole thing in it. <laughs> but you know what? I see YouTube videos that actually make content of um, Andrew Tate. Like every day, and it's get bare views. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. We, we ain't on that though, man. We're not on the cloud thing. No, 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 no. It was, it was a, we, yeah. we had to talk about it because of the BBC interview. There's quite a few things we had to talk about Philip Schofield and um, talks about um, Eddie Brooks' interview with Piers Morgan about her uh, OnlyFans venture as well. But no, I was a pro- 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 that show was like over 200 guys. So, hey, hey, before we continue, guys, thank you so much for tuning into that, by the way. Um, hope you enjoyed it and liked it. But, guys, please remember important like the channel you have to like it it's free you have to like it because that is what that's what gets the algorithm going i've got to say it the views without the likes it hurts the podcast and you know you want the podcast to keep coming back you don't keep seeing my sexy dark chocolate face and his caramel skin face what's yeah. it with you and chocolate and caramel today it's, Cho- it's a chocolate man podcast isn't it so, <laughs> <laughs> so you know the same the same the same flipping <laughs> chocolate city buff it is the same magic might buff Switzerland. You no, got you got the viewers thinking it's a different type of show, bro. No, nah, well it could be. No, nah, no, nah, nah, I'm just saying. What I'm saying, guys, is not. Nah, but we appreciate everyone that did enjoy it and subscribe. But just please keep liking it, and you know we'll, we'll keep here pleasing. Anyway, man, how are you? I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm hot, bro. I'm hot. Last week was the hay fever. Now it's just My stuffy bro. air. If I start sweating like a like a pimp with one hoe, bro. <laughs> just let me know, and if <laughs> yeah. I'm sweating. Well, yeah, it's just that UK weather, bro. It's jarring. Today is um, is it monkey? It's monkey dirty, dirty, isn't it? Dirty, dirty. Do you yeah. know? Do you know what I do though? I should do this anyway, but especially now, what I've been doing, I think it's making a difference. But even then, bro, I'm showering. Well, not showering. I don't. Sh- I don't shower. I bath. <laughs> I, I, I got. I got sick for that. How holiday. do you bath, bro? How do you people I, just lay in their own dirt? It's not dirt. It's just. I do sh- don't get me wrong. I do I do appreciate a shower, but my go to is always been bath. No, this that's why I don't really wasn't serious. Yeah, when <laughs> it was on holiday for me. Every you know you go out, but everyone gets ready, have a quick shower, go out. I see my man just like <laughs> <laughs> man's running a bath. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm running a bath. I'm like, bath, just get in the shower and it's get dead, out, it's bro. Dead to be used. Man's just we getting money for this. Bro, yeah, but we got we're doing something, yeah. You're just like I was even long. Moving like you got all the time in the world, fam. You can have a quick like, bath. Um, I hate people, bumps. but you see showers them. though, yeah. Yeah. Showers on people have had long showers though. Yeah, I know, but you just you're running the bath. Yeah. That takes whatever ten minutes or whatever. I don't know. No, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't. I haven't had a bath in in flipping years. Yeah. Okay. I shower every day. Yeah. I do wash myself, but I haven't had an actual bath. I only have a bath when I'm got muscle aches or injuries like that. Mm. Yeah. And, and, but you just taking a sweet time. <sighs> You're not serious, man. I'm serious. I was quick. I swear it was quick. Anyway. Nah. No, but we're sh- okay. Well, we're who, no, just guys, let us know who who has a bath on holiday. If you bath at home, that's that's different. Well, if it's holiday, you can't. Bath. On holiday, who takes what? a bath? Bro? <laughs> like, nah. 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 We become bath if the, if the we paid yeah, we're all inclusive. It came with a shower and a bath, so the bath can be used no, to the but no, I don't know. I might just be me. It might just yeah, be you, me. You, might just be to, you me. said you're not used to. But I wasn't. I wasn't a nice tub though. I wasn't a nice tub my holiday. But I was just for photogenic purposes. Photogenic. So you and your type of bath for a photo. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So you're not serious. Man, we'll go to bath. For, Tony, you Tony. step out your natural habitat just for a photo. Tony Montana thing, but it was a jacuzzi. It was a jacuzzi to be fair. Yeah, you know, you might have a bath. It's authentic. 
Yeah. Fuck it. Would you, get, would you ever get into a party for your wife? <laughs> no, do you know what it is? I don't like traditional, you know, like just the bathtubs, but if I had a nice luxury pad and it was like... Nice. St- Bro, who's stick. got luxury? How many no, people got I'm luxury just saying, pads? But I'm saying when I'm older, and we're talking years ahead, I've got, a wi- I've got a wife at this point, yeah? Years ahead, I've got state-of-the-art bathroom, nice big bath. Just not just not a one white... T- oh. No, man, I can't do that. But I think you're too close on No, no, no. No, man. No, well, no. We'll just both have... No, I can't um, have a shower with her. What I'll say, what I'll say, though, is... At, at this time of the, of the year, though, what I'll say is that... Um, I've been How are we friends, bruv? I swear we disagree on everything. That's what. That's, that's <laughs> what. That's. Well, that's like my dad and my um, and his best friend, my godfather. They're always always arguing over the phone. Yeah. It's normal. It's not. Yeah. It's normal. It's normal. Yeah, it's, yeah. Normal. it's normal. I think. I feel like there's some friends here yeah, that you, when you barely argue, you're friends. But I think there's like a. I feel like there's um, a cap on that relationship. Mm. It's gonna start, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. I think that it's. The, 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 the beefing and the arguing is actually is it's generally coming from this it's so tight I'm not a tight person in it by nature do you, do you think it comes that. do you think it comes from a place of love <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you've got some people uh, by the way this is a joke by the way isn't it? so don't get it wrong but you know how some people are in like them toxic relationships yeah say, this, is why, this is why I treat you like this because I love you it's that, they're tight <laughs> that's tight yeah, but like yeah, for example yeah, yeah. Like, but no but people bro I seen it. I That's why it. probably my no, no, relationships failed though. Because you know, I'm not toxic enough. No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. There's never be no toxic relationship. But I remember, I remember like seeing two friends like bickle all the time, innit? And I'm like, oh, shut up, you dumb you, man. Like, don't idiot, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro, I know it's love, innit? Bro? <laughs> Stupid guy, man. <laughs> oh, I saw you said that to me last week on the pod, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you... No, you don't. Oh, whatever. No, what, what I'm saying is, back to what I'm saying, but what I'll say is though, bro, because I, when I go out in this weather, yeah, and it's so muggy, when I go home, I literally feel the dirty air on me, but when I like um, bathe in like cold water, it takes off like the heat or, or off me, in it, And mm. I feel so clean as well. That's what I've been doing every day. I've been feeling better for it as well. You said you shower like twice in the summer. Yeah. yeah I've, I, I'd like to hope everyone showers twice in the summer. People that are shout outs like every day, every single like um, every single day of like the year, the whole year. I'm like that's a bit excessive. Like I don't know. Do you shower the night before, or I feel like we could make a whole conversation about? Do you shower the night before or in the morning? Both. If I'm showering, at, if I'm showering twice a day. Yeah. If you're not, if you're not showering like t- twice a day. If both. I'm showering or, or 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 having a bath twice a day, then it's in the morning and the night. Yeah. But what I've noticed, yeah. what I've noticed, the difference is. When I bathed at night as well, when I've done it twice, the next morning, even though I've slept and I'm not fully clean, I feel a bit cleaner. Yeah. But if you're if you're if you're if you're um, washing like um, if you're washing like <laughs> in the morning and you go to sleep later on and you don't wash, bro, you can smell yourself the next day when you wake up. And then you have a shower. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, say, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Because I don't know when I'll probably just shower. When I go up, and before I go to bed, I might just wash my face or whatever. But yeah, in the summer, shower twice a day, have to, man. You, you, yeah. yeah. Maybe even three times. Yeah. Maybe yeah. an activity during the day. Yeah, definitely. And, 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 all, and all that. Anyway, let's go straight to it. What have we got, man? You've yeah. been dying for this. You've been dying for this subject. No, I don't. Been dying for this, bro. Stop putting narrative. Been dying for this. No, 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 no. I think it's a question to be had. What's your okay? What's your? You've been hearing. No, no, no. What's your stance? Yeah, because you know, you know my thing, bro. You know my stance. Yeah. But mine's. um, You've been thinking about dogs recently in the media. Um, This morning spoke about it. LBC's covered it. Um, Because, no, seriously, because it's like people have been. Victims of vicious dog attacks being more more to death, yeah, um, and like it's becoming a, a, a more very more prominent thing. Uh. I I saw it's heartbreaking. I saw this. I mean, imagine this. There was a little girl on this morning. I don't know if people people seen this. I don't know if you saw it, but her face she disfigures for life. On her on the side of her face, she got some nasty. It's a big scar on 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 her face, and that's mm. uh, that's um that's due to a dog attack. 
and obviously she could have psychological issues going forward she may be petrified of dogs going forward because especially as a child as well he was mm. an adult but especially yeah. as a child what, what do you know what breed it was i don't know i don't know what breed it was but there's been a thing of spate of attacks recently that's, that's made uh, media headlines what's your thoughts what's your thoughts on like what's your thoughts on just um just to start off what's your thoughts on like the dogs itself and compared to the owners and what obviously like, you do you, do you love dogs? Do you yeah, come on, man. You ask me that, man. You know I love dogs, man. I love dogs. Do you love all dogs? Or? Um, I mean, I would say up until very recent, I would say um, there's there's no such thing as bad breeded dogs. Really? But uh, there probably is. Right. Because you got some vicious ones out there. Like, I know, but we live in a day and age where there's all, there's all intermixing as well as a lot of mixed breeds and all that. Yeah. And you just don't know what you're getting. Um, obviously everyone knows that like, Pitbull, K9, stuff like that, they're quite, can be vicious breeds, isn't it? But on the most part, on the generalised part, I think it comes down to the owner at the end of the day. Is it always the owner though? Can, do you think it's possible for like, so that's not silly. Like, do you, no, no, do, do you, no, think, do you know, do you do know you what it is, yeah? Do you think it's possible that a dog owner has literally, has trained it so well and then the dog has done that? Done a complete madness. One A, no, I don't think that's possible. You don't think possible. I don't think that's possible. No. Really, no, no matter what breed no, it no, is. No. Okay. No. Um. Yeah, no, I, I don't think that's possible, man. It, it all comes out. People don't understand how much training you have to, that goes into um, hundred into dogs and all that because the domestic, the domestic, make domesticated pets at the end of the day. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So. I need to stop saying, do you know what I'm saying? Because I rewatched the last podcast and I said that about six times. I now. keep saying like, like. I like. say that it's terrible. Um, where, where was I lost my train of thought? It's domesticated dogs. Yeah, domesticated dogs. Uh, okay, so me, when I was growing up, I had a Staffy, yeah? Yeah. Me, pretty medium-sized dog. I passed away when I was very young, yeah? Um, Sorry to hear that. Yeah, God. I might start crying. I did, I did, <laughs> I, how did it die? I don't know. I, f- I don't know. I just remember wake up in the middle of the night and it was just like crying and shit, and then it just died. My granddad was there, so it was quite sad. Mm. But um, I love dogs. No, I've always been surrounded by dogs. Um, uh, person I used to be with had a Sharpe. Good, good breed. I don't. I just love dogs. Like. Dogs are a man's best friend. Do you know what? Yeah. But when you're on the sp- let me just say this. Like you know when you're on, on out out and about <laughs> and you see. <laughs> When you see a dog and its owner, yeah, you know, you know, like you know, you know, you know, you know, you know what time it is, isn't it? But even the other the other day, well, and you know me, I'm calm with dogs. Like if a dog were to run up to me, I I wouldn't panic or nothing like that, yeah. Right. More, more time, yeah. I saw a dog the other day, and I saw, it wasn't the dog that was scared. It was the owner, bro. It was the owner. It was just like, nah, like you're, you know, it's only sometimes, not even sometimes of, of like what they look like appearance. I'm not even stereotyping, but it's like, you know, they're just like oblivious. Like oh, yeah. they're, they're on their phone or just whatever, man. And yeah. your dog's not on the leash. And it's just running around. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? That's, do you know what? Often, I know you got a thing about that. <laughs> oh, 100%. Yeah. Let me, let me just make it clear. All right, before I get even off to it well, briefly, yeah. So, the only pet I've had in my life, yeah, is a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'm serious. What Nemo? <laughs> it was it was two fish, a goldfish, and it was this like um, silver slash goldfish. Mm-hmm. And I remember I was I, I was I was probably like f- six years old, and we had it. And there was one time, yeah, I I um, I was I was always feed it, I was wash it, and then but obviously when I was I was I was silly as I was younger, so I I I I, I wouldn't I. I hope that I wasn't responsible for the fish's passing because there was one time I used to take the fish out and put it on the floor to see what happens in it, and it used to jump. But then it used to jump, and I put it back in. No, 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 but I wanted to see what happens in it. You psychopath. No, 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 I didn't know. I didn't understand what I was doing. But the thing is, the fish didn't die straight away. So they died a while afterwards. I thought, oh, maybe it wasn't wasn't that. But if I can't just can't help but think that I'm partly responsible for any issues. It <laughs> Do you still feel the guilt now to this day? <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Does it keep I, you up? I miss them, man. Does it keep you up on that? Do you lose sleep over it? Yeah. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Nah, I'm joking. Nah, I'm joking. Nah. nah, I miss them though. But I love fish and like with animals in it. I could like a dog in it. I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll be honest. It's not that I hate, I don't hate dogs. I don't even I don't just see just 
like dogs. I just don't like anybody's dog, if that makes sense. Mm. That's my issue. Because dogs, there's so many different types of dogs. Mm. And there's so much different, like, idiot owner. Yeah. So it's not just, it's not, like, I've seen some dogs and thought, that dog's actually cute. Well, yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not gonna lie, I'm not into like the more vicious type of breeds. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, you think I'm some soft guy, like, oh, what breed is that? Like, the poodle, I'm like, no, they're cute, you know? They're a good dog. When you bark, it's like a semi bark, it doesn't make much noise. <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 it's wrapped up in like um, raincoats. I'm like, oh, I like the look of you, in it? But that, that's that's it. So there's some dogs like I, 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 I've actually really like liked. But I don't just like any person's. You know, this is the problem we'll get into. This is the issue that I have though. Is like when you know some any random Tom Dickens Harry dog just be charging you, run up to you, wanna like take. I'm thinking, bro, I don't know. People need to understand, yeah. Dogs are actually animals at the end of the day. If you're being real, they're unpredictable. Yeah, some, some, unpredictable. some. No, but they're yeah, unpredictable. Yeah. They're some, some people try to treat them like f- family. Yeah, bro. but do you not think? <laughs> do you do you not think that could be a problem though? In a way though. Well, the family, yeah, it's supposed to be part of the family, but when you're treating it like the, do- the dog's brain is not the same as a human's brain. Yeah, of course. So, of course, but um, do you know, it's, it's dogs, I find it, you know, the, psych- the psychology behind getting a dog is quite interesting as well because um, a lot of people, some people might get dogs because they're, they're lonely, they don't feel like they have a, much of a social circle. Oh, yeah. Some people, I know, I know one couple that um quite elderly couple they they could never have kids they oh, just yeah. don't know i don't know if it's on the, on the woman's part or the man's part so they end up getting a dog mm. and the dog they literally treat the dog like it's their child now yeah you, know, you wouldn't necessarily say that's a bad thing do you know what i'm saying but then to what level do um, you know what is yeah i'm not gonna lie bro i'm not a fan of some dogs like licking up your face though man i don't, nah, know, I don't know what that's nah, people i don't know what I, that's disgusting nah, to me that's that's a mad thing that you that's that's that's, that's i I'm not one of the people that if I if I had a dog or oh, get in the bed with me and nah man. Well, you let the dog jump in bed with you and go sleep. What under like, bed? Like not under the, nah nah like on the end of the bed or nothing like that. No, it's not my first. I'm not. Gonna, I wouldn't look for it as a thing that I just do every single time. No. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you keep you, you make it no like no. You're a pet. Go go no, no, go no, on no, the no, side. No, but no, no, no. It's not even that. But it's what I'm trying to say. It's just that I'm not. It's not something that I do as a standard thing. That if I'm going to bed, oh yeah, come in the bed with me. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah, well, it was, it was different. Like, I know you. You're not a, like you're not a massive fan of I don't dogs. Trust every but we we be no, we, we be walking on road. Yeah, we see a dog. Yeah, come come. <laughs> No, no, let me, let me, no, I'm not doing you that, I'm not doing you that, I just see like you're just a little bit more wary than I, I'm not saying you run or nothing like that, I'm saying you're a little bit wary or like, you might do a little. Do you know that time you got chased by a dog in like um, a certain area? Where? 2015 times, and it came out, it came out sideways like in a film. But, what, what, in the park? Oh, it was like in, do you not remember? I don't really remember chased by like, that dog. It was like in the Croydon area. We was risen at one of our brethren, and then we was walking through like the woods, and then the dog came out sideways. And we didn't oh, do you remember that? Oh, that was nothing, man. What? Oh, that was shut nothing, up. man. <laughs> no, 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 no. You remember that? No, that was nothing, bro. Oh that was my nothing. god, bro! I think there's three of us. <laughs> nah. Uh, but no, but the thing is, though, I am. I don't. I don't know because, bro, do you know how much times I got parks for me? Parks are one of the worst. I find. I find dog owners. I'm only honest. I think a lot of them can be very disrespectful and considerate. Mm. Like, <clears throat> they're sh- I think they assume because that everyone loves dogs, and I feel like let's say if you don't, you're in a park. I've seen it so many times here, yeah, and family, the people having like food and picnics, and I just let the dog just charge at them, and you got a bear like reaction trying to come at your food, and then the person's from a distance say, "Oh no, sorry, he's friendly." Or Eccles, come here, and it's like you're not really trying to really yeah. make sure your dog no, is checked. Do you know what I mean? No, I get. I don't I, like I, that. I, I find yeah, that yeah, very, yeah, yeah, yeah. very I, You see with and me. You know I, I, hold on. Yeah. Do you know why I've got a problem with that? Because I know for a fact, the next time it happens, you'll be exactly the same anyway. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to do anything to make sure that, hold on a second, this is not, you, they think that kind of thing is just okay to just be doing to everybody all the time. Yeah. I know for a fact yeah. you're really sorry for what, they're very yeah. casual. They just they have the assumption that oh, it's just a dog. Uh, the person will be fine with it. But yeah. that that's happened to me, and I'm I've been fine with it. I would stroke it. I would not. That's bet. different. But like they they will casually just stroll up to you like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, like, d- like bro, how problem, do you not know? Though. I might have a fear of dogs or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Though, but the thing is, though, that's part of the problem. Yeah. And yeah. Also, 
you have different types of dog breeds. This is yeah. why I, said I don't just love everybody's dog. Yeah. My dog can be very. I remember one time, um, I was um, somewhere in it, and the dog just like, yeah. shot myself. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Just generally, I was like, whoa. Bro. And he's like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm like, no, no. I, I just wonder. I was leaving my my grandma's house one time. And I was wa- I was walking uh, up a hill, mm. and there was this uh, this father and his young young boy, and he had the uh, I'm so bad. I love dogs, but I'm bad with like mm. breed names and all that. I think it was a Labrador or something. It yeah. just it was running towards me, and it jumped up at me like this, yeah. but in a friendly manner. Like its claws was on like my shirt and all that, yeah. and I was like. A part of me wanted to like react and be like, "What the fuck are you doing like to the dad? Like, what are you? Do you know what I'm saying? Because mm. the dad was just like, he was like, "Oh, Betty, like, he's like, Betty, no, no, he was like, he's like, Betty, get down, yeah, like, do you know what I'm saying? I don't even remember, I don't even know if you remember, if I remember if he was saying, "Oh, sorry, mate, or something like that." It's but it's like with me, but with me, it's calm because I love dogs anyway. But, that's the but if you do that to the wrong person, yeah, the thing is, though, it's not even about what the problem. The issue with that, though, it's not even about you being calm or not. Mm. It's the principles should be the same. The principle is, yeah. That's quite, it's quite very interesting and disrespectful just to let your dog just do that to everybody. Yeah. anybody. Whether you're fine or not, they don't know that. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. And there's still a responsibility for them to have their dog behave a certain way. Yeah. You can't just be doing that. With, you wouldn't let your child just be doing them kind of, well, some yeah. stupid, some people are idiots, but like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just wrong, isn't it? The, but the, like, no, there was a time you had the issue with a dog, I remember. Do you remember that time we was training in, in football, innit? it? Yeah. And then, bro, this dog was basically harassing us. I remember the guy was from... From my distance, he's like, oh, he wants the ball. He's like, I don't care if he wants the ball. Remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to, bro, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> and the guy, I think it was him and his wife or floozy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was him yeah I remember his, that. Was him, and his, him and his yeah. floozy or something. Yeah, yeah. And then like, he was like, he just, he just didn't care, man. And like, yeah. the, dog was, the dog was literally, the dog could like, bite into our pole. It's, yeah. it's not on. Did you see the, the video of the dog? This almost made me tear up, bro. The video of the dog was mourning some loop. Puppy, bruv, like chewing his ear. I think I actually bit his ear off. It was in a restaurant. Really? Yeah. Oh, um, attack. Yeah, like vicious. Where was this? This was I don't know where. Well, I think I don't know if it was in the UK. It was probably like I think it was in America or something. It was just out of nowhere. Oh man, the poor little puppy, man. It was so. It was actually so sad to watch. No, but, but I don't know, man. Because I don't. Like, do I don't. You, I don't. You get on in here and demonizing dogs, man. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna have that. I ain't letting that happen. Do you think most of you are saying it's more about the owners than I do? Think I. Yeah. I as much as I'm not the biggest dog lover, I don't just love any person's dog, and I can like some dogs. Depends on the breed. It depends on how the dog is. I do feel like a lot of owners need to be held a lot responsible for a lot of their pets, bro. Yeah. And there was an act because if you got people being with life changing injuries because of a dog attack, do you think that there needs to be? Do you th- do you do you think that there should be like there a, needs a license? Be, yeah, there needs to be like harsher dog. like background checks or like. Mm-hmm laws put in place yeah. or something put in place man because not everyone can should have dogs yeah. and not everyone should be a, a parent as well well that's another so con- like, conversation like, for like another not day everyone, it's like not everyone should be able to drive a car yeah exactly many things man we can list off a whole checklist of things yeah literally there needs to be certain things put in place like one thing i do hate to see as well when you see like oh, it's sad it's sad to say but you know you see a homeless person yeah you see a dog right next to it. Oh, yeah. yeah and I it's just that. like, it's, it's it's sad that they're both homeless, isn't it? But I feel more for the dog. I know that might be a bit weird because I'm just what, like, why is that? I don't know, man. Because I'm just like, at the end of the day, like, you're your you're own individual, man. Like, I know I know it sounds a bit messed up, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But no, it's like, that's so you know, I love dogs, man. I prefer dogs to humans, man, if I'm being honest. Oh, yeah. You sound like one of them Oyembo people. Yeah, no, I do. But no, man, dogs are, dogs are uh, is a man's best friend, man. But no, but then again, it's a good thing because it's, it's, it's there with him. Loyal, like not complaining, nothing like that. But I just feel like, in terms of like, what's the dog gonna eat? Is the dog going for walks? Is it is it hydrated? You know what I'm saying? That's sad to see. So there needs to be something you know some put in place. Turn on their own owners, you know. I never seen that. Well, it happens more often. Did you did you see the vi- this is a big one? The video where the the police shot the dogs. In yeah. this was in East London. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I did see that, that was that was hard to see. That was hard to watch, man. That was hard. Like the way they just shotgun, you know, both of them, bam, bam. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't see that. And obviously, there's like a debate, like people blaming the owner, people blaming the, the dogs itself, and blaming the police. Just like a whole shit show, really. Do you, know, do you know what? One time, yeah, this happened to me recently as well. And this is why I don't, I don't trust people because it's the dog, it comes to the pair, man. The dog, the owner. This, this woman was an absolute 
she was just an absolute bimbo, an idiot, man. Like, yeah. I remember I was working somewhere. I, 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 I just knocked on the door, right? And this was up in like Newcastle, wasn't it? Mm. I, was, I was up north there. I was like, I was there. I knocked on the door. And bro, I knocked on the door. This dog, basically, it, it, it was going to attack me, basically. Mm. And like, no other life. So imagine, she comes out, she opens the door. The dog, ru- the dog runs. You know the dog. You're, you know your dog. You can't control your dog. She couldn't control her own dog, right? Mm. And she's literally putting her, her leg, yeah, between the door opening and the dog. Stop it. Because if she lay out, it would attack me. Mm. That's, what it was, that's what it was on. Yeah. And she was like, oh, s- sorry, my dog's a bit wild. <laughs> and bro, I dashed. Yeah. I dashed. I was like, you know what? I'm not. I, <laughs> I'm not doing that. But she's, she's dangerous. Because if your dog um, visually attacks me, what yeah. happens? Yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm thinking this, and that's why I say like this is why I put it on the owner because I'm thinking you're complete, you're a complete idiot because, and you're very, you're very stupid because it's like you know your dog, your your, your, your dog's a very aggressive breed, and you have your you own it, you got no business owning it because you clearly can't control it, and your common sense would feel like well I can't control it, why would I not? Why would I let the dog come to the door? You can make sure the dog is um, in the kitchen or somewhere behind the door. Yeah. But you've come to the front door knowing what your dog is about to do and you potentially if it, all it takes is one slip the, the leg to slip through or the dog just to creep through your leg and definitely you know all hell breaks loose yeah yeah. so I'm an idiot and yeah. then that's why I was like bro this is why I don't just trust people trust hey, people with dogs hey, and I sounds. think I, I thought I what the things I've been seeing was happening to people's kids yeah it's been heartbreaking I'm thinking bro imagine a little six seven year old girl bro like with a nasty big scar on her face because someone can't control her do- their, their dog. I'm like, bro, this ain't on, man. Yeah. It's not right. It's not right. No. Because people have this idea that, bro, you, you got to remember that dogs are animals and they're unpredictable. Mm. You have to be, I don't think anyone should just have these things, bro, because dogs can be used as something sound terrible, but they could be used as weapons, bro. That's what yeah, I said. Not, so, yeah, yeah. not everyone should be behind the wheel. got to attack dogs. The, dogs use the, the police but, use the dogs. <clears> exactly. Yeah. Not everyone should be behind the wheel of a car. Mm. Because in the wrong, in someone... In the per- in someone that's incompetent, yeah, in the hands of someone that's incompetent, it's n- it would be nothing but, but um, carnage. Mm. Because you see, you're sitting there saying you love dogs, bro. Like if you was a kid, and you had and and, and a dog has um, left you a nasty vicious scar, which you remember for your life, would be on there on, on you. Mm. Bro. You probably wouldn't. Do you, know, do you know? When I was young, you probably wouldn't be a dog lover. Though. Yeah, yeah, Possibly. it's just true. You'd you probably be petrified of dogs. You're hundred percent right. Do you know why? Because when I was younger, a cat. Scratched me, my my hand. Oh, is it? And I went out to reach for it. Scratched, me, and I, that's the reason I hate cats to this day. Oh. I hate them. I think they're useless. They, apparently, say cats are snaky. Though. They're snaky. They they, 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 they no nah, man. Friend, yeah, no, I, really. I firmly believe cats come from hell, fam. Like I don't know, they're Satan's pet, man. Literally, yeah. I hate their slit eyes. When they're in the room, I start sneezing and all that. Oh. They're like, why would you even own a cat, bro? Like they don't even stay indoors, man. They only come in to fucking shit on the, the litter bit and have some cat food and they fuck off like they're just out and about on the streets. I think having a cat uh, is useless. Well, you see cats, no, you no know, offense to all the cats, cat owners out cats, there. They are very nonchalant, bro. They yeah, like man. Bro, a cat, bro, a, a cat, you, you could die. A cat will just dump you tomorrow and get you a new owner. Bro. Yeah, no, literally, they dog, get new owners dog, all the time. A dog will be like, oh man, you never, you spend time with me. Do you know what? Do you know? Like, you hear your dog, listen, I've been petted you already. Like, oh, just touch me a bit more. <laughs> Well, they're like very clingy and like. You know, do you know the cats and dogs? And like, they're, they're literally two polar opposites. Like one extreme, the what dogs are really like needy. Like it's like having a, it's like having a child, bro. Literally, no, when you no, got a dog. Dogs jealous girlfriend, bro. Like. Yeah, when you have a dog, it's like having a baby, bro. When you have a cat and it's so nonchalant, so just have no care in the world. Like it's two extremes. So it just is dog, is before we move on. Is dog um, is dog um, mixing breeding dangerous? Uh. Yes, it is. Yeah, if you don't know what you're doing, because it's st- something that's supposed. It's something. Is it? Are you supposed to dog breed? Or is it? Is it should, should, I don't. I don't know. I, should, or should it have to stay with the same breed? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. If I'm honest, I'm not an expert on you're this. The, I'm not gonna I'm, here, bro, No, right? I'm a lover of dogs, but I'm not a dog expert. I but I know there's a lot of intermixing, and that there's a popular breed out there. It's the in recent years the French. Oh, the Frenchie. I think it's been mixed between. Uh, Frenchies are common to see. Yeah, no, but they got a lot of health complications. Why? Uh, because of the I think oh, I think because really? of the mixed breeding. Yeah, oh. they got a lot of like nasal issues and breathing issues, oh. stuff like that. Yeah, the Frenchies. Yeah, if I'm 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 think I'm talking. You, s- right. you see cross breeding then? Is that is that is that been done deliberate by the owner then? 
No, I think, like I said, I'm not an expert on breeding, but there's just a certain way of okay, breeding. Okay, cool. Well, one day, hopefully, we get someone that's a bit more of a dog expert on our yeah. show to discuss this in further detail. Because quite, that's quite interesting, things like that. Yeah. Okay, it's enough for... Who let the dogs out? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Have you watched Cats and Dogs? We know Cats and Dogs. I want to watch that new... Oh, the animated old thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to watch Super Pets as well. I've heard of... Uh, yeah. I used to watch this program called... Um, it's Me or the Dog. No, I By know. um, I think the um presenter who's an expert dog trainer is called Victoria Sayak. I used to watch that all the time. Anyway, what's happening? What's else happening? Uh, do you want to talk about your boy? Who? Mystic Mac. Who? Mystic Mac. McGregor. Conor McGregor. My boy, he's more your boy than my boy. Yeah, boy. no, I, I used to fuck with McGregor back in the day. Wow, man. What's what's changed? Um, I don't know, man. He just kept losing. It was more what he was doing in the octagon than out of the octagon. That's what this guy just keeps losing. But um, no, nah, he's been in the news, mm. not, not for not not because of the upcoming Chandler fight. Um, he's been accused of uh, sexual assault. And R. Uh, and R, yeah. And R. And, uh, was it Miami? I think it was game six recently this week. Was there any like information on what's happened to have happened? So it came out that he, a woman accused him of, of the of rape. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we can actually say it because we're not monetized or whatever, but we'll just say grape for oh, now, hold on, yeah? before you on it, is that why people use grape? Bro, I'll be watching these YouTube videos. Have you seen that? These man be saying grape, these man be saying corn instead yeah, yeah, yeah. of pork. Ah, like, what am I watching? That's why I hear yeah. it. Is it because they're monetized? I feel I don't I, f- I don't know if these YouTube guidelines. Anyway, let's let's just let's just stick to grape. Yeah? yeah, he was accused of grape. Yeah, and then yeah, I mean I love I love grapes, but yeah, um, you like committing grape? No. Uh, I love red grapes. Okay. I used, only go to, I, used to, I used to only go to church for the grapes if I'm only just for the wine, uh, but that's a, that was another day, but go on. Okay, you scared me for a little bit there. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I'm joking, yeah. What is to get me for? So you come here for grape? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know why I'm not. I'm not laughing because I'm just laughing because people say grape, innit? He was committed um, of grape and then obviously, which he denied, and the next day came out. So oh, he f- denied it? Yeah, yeah, of, of course. And then the next day came out um, some footage, some video footage. I think they're backstage at the Miami Heat Center, wherever it is. And there's a lot of people. And you see Conor McGregor and he's with security. I feel like, I think he's, the woman's holding his hand or he's holding her hand and they go into a back, they go into some bathroom or something and the door shuts. And that's all you see. So then, since so according to that footage, yeah, but by the way, he wasn't. He didn't force her into the bathroom. Yeah, he, yeah, like, yeah. He was, so she's he was to leading say, her to the bathroom. So she's trying to say that after the door shut, which we can no longer see what's going on, she's trying to say that that's what it happened. Yeah, apparently, I think he. What, what, what the story is that he um he forced her to give him um some fellatio. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. And she went to the police with her clothes. She gave the clothes to her police, but saying, "Oh, that's all. Had all his DNA is on it." Oh, we have to say the Italian word. That's what they do have to do. What? What's the Italian word? Fellatio. Fellatio, yeah. Is that, is that Italian? Of course it oh, is. Yeah, yeah. Fellatio. 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 Yeah, Fellatio. yeah that is. Yeah. I made that up. Yeah. Is it not Italian? No, Fellatio is Italian. Oh, Fellatio. Okay. Fellatio. Yeah. So she, so she, so if it was on a serious note, so she, she forced him to write, so apparently she, she's saying yeah, that she's that's the, that's the accusation at the moment. That, yeah, right? that's the accusation. And this is not, McGregor's been accused of, of this type of um, behaviour a few times now. What? In, Way recent, in recent years. What? Oh. Yeah. Do you know what I was thinking? Do you know? I don't know. It's when my man's married. Yeah, no. Do you know what I was thinking, though? The other day. I don't know. I've just been thinking some stupidness. But I was like... He's, he's actually the two-pack of this generation, bro. No, he's no, all, no, 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 for the, for the wrong reasons, because you know back in the also this was before he was even alive, yeah, Tupac was always in the news for some, some BS, man, or some gun, he shot two cops, or the, the whole SA situation. Didn't, didn't, apparently, I heard that, I heard, I heard, I heard he got flesh from Madonna back in the day. I mean, who didn't, bro? I think I, we, I think we could get flesh from Madonna, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think that would be hard, man. <laughs> nah, <laughs> man. <laughs> How old is she now, bro? She's like 70 something, bro. No, she's in her 60s. Well, she's gum. Like 19, 1958. What, a flipping gum job or something, bro. You'd enjoy that. Actually, that might be nicer, though, bro. 
Yeah, but really. Because I've got some shithead recently, bro. Like, really? <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, that's like off, like off camera. Talk we can talk on camera. I'm more than happy to talk on camera, bro. <laughs> 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 now, all I'm going to say is, man, I don't need to say it. I don't need to say it to everyone because, you know, this. Oh, man. Teeth. Teeth. I don't. Don't use your teeth. I have never got the teeth issue. Oh, I never have. Up until recently. So, do you know what? I'll actually take up that gum job from Madonna, actually. No, she's yeah? got teeth, but she. I think. Nah, have you seen her lately, though, man? She looks like... Oh, yeah, she's ruined us, though. She look... I don't think she was even ever that attractive anyway, in my, no, in my opinion. What? In the 80s, she was hot, you know? I don't know, she, she, she's she had, got... She had, beauty, she had that beauty spot. Well. She's just yeah, got she, that very... She's just always come across as a whore to me recently. Like, the yeah, whole industry you, you smashed be, her, bro. But you can, you, can be, you can be a hot whore. Yeah, but I don't know. I just feel like everyone has had a go at her. Like, even people not in the industry, like, average people off the street have had a go at her. No, I don't think. I think, no, I I feel think like she's she, reserved. She, nah. she, she, she's, on the, she's on the toy boy thing. Really. Like, if you say, no, yeah. No, no, she's, on, she's, date, she's dating um, toy boys these days. No, but I'm saying, as an average girl, like, as someone, as an average girl off the street, yeah, if someone said to me, oh, yeah, I was, I was uh, I got with Madonna, I wouldn't be impressed. Wouldn't be impressed? I wouldn't be impressed, no. Do you think she's one? Do you think she's one of them celebrities that's open to general public too? Yeah. Okay. I've, uh, yeah. That's another conversation with that. Anyway, what, what are we talking? I don't know. Talking? I got lost. We was too much. Yeah, lost McGregor. McGregor. I got lost. He's trying to say he's two pack. Yeah, no, nah, I feel like the wrong reasons, man. He's always in the news for the wrong reason. Isn't it? <clears throat> so, um, does he cheat on his wife? I, I don't know. You know, I actually don't, I don't know. Think married for. I don't think he's. It's his, I think it's his partner. I don't think they're married. Does, um, did he ever get married? No. I swear. He's he's about to have his fourth child. I swear he's an alcoholic. Um. <laughs> <laughs> nah, do you know what I'm laughing? Yeah. Because um, he's, he's come out. He looks quite different recently, isn't it? I think he's, he's, he's packed on some, he's, some muscle and all that. He, I think he came out and saying that, oh, how he's been in the best physique shape he's been. Yeah. Do you know like what? He's nah. Back, he's going to come back to the... Nah, but... Where he, that's what I think he's come out and said. Well, he it. says that all the time, yeah. He says that all the time. Uh, did you watch the McGregor Forever documentary on Netflix? Nah, I have seen it. Nah, man. Honestly, man. Every every year, it's, just, oh, it's the best version of myself. I, I don't feel even better. All oh, that, man. Do, bro. You think, do you know what? Do you think he's just, he's just, he's just getting a paycheck at the end of the day now? It's just, he's just, he's just money. No, but my thing is, what he's doing he's, 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 he's accumulating that level of wealth where it's like, do you even have the hunger and desire? Because I, I see McGregor so now. A money, man, no. Amer- alle- allegedly, He's he's on he's on he's on the sniff and all that. I don't know. Yeah, oh, the cool, I, he's, he's on the chart. He's taking charge and all chart. that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I'm saying this. Yeah, he's supposed to be fine. Uh, Michael Chandler. Yeah, end of the year. Yeah, he needs to be in the testing pool for Yasada. So he needs to be he needs to be drug tested by the deadlines up. Yeah, if he has to, if he's going to fight at the end of the year. Yeah, I'm just saying if you're a better man and you see McGregor right now and you see Michael Chandler, I'm, I'm putting all my chips on Chandler. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, uh, McGreg- I swear McGregor said he was retiring. Better, right? He said that about so, so does Fury. So does Fury. Fury in it. Oh my. Uh, let's <laughs> Fury. Well, yeah. Fury don't lose. That's the difference. Fury. Yeah. Fury don't lose. Yeah. But I'm not giving him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Fury. I'm not giving Fury the benefit of the doubt because we should have seen that Usyk fight. Yeah, when that was called off, I was like, "What a joke!" Usk, Usk. We should have seen that fight. Yeah. And so August. What's happening in August? AJ and um, Dillian White rematch. Is that actually happening? Do you want to see that? Be honest. No. But I heard that um, AJ and Wild was happening in December. Yeah. Is that, that actually happening? That, that, I don't know. If that, bro, you see with heavyweight boxing, you never know, yeah? They say you never know when it comes in ring. Even outside the ring, you never know because all these men just talk. I want to see AJ Wilder do it. Yeah. But, box, but I can't complain. Boxing as a whole this year, I've been impressed. What from other divisions? Other divisions, hundred percent. We've seen Garcia and Javante Davis. Yeah, that's a that's a prize fight. Yeah, we just saw um, oh, what's his name? Oh, I forget his name. He says, oh, Tiafimo Lopez and um, the Scottish fighter. We saw that. That was a, that was a that was a good fight. We're about to see Errol Spence and Terence Crawford fight of the year, hundred percent fight of the year, end of July. Um, I want I want Spence to win, but I think Crawford's going to beat him. Who else have we seen? I saw we've seen something else earlier this year as well. We saw this is not this is heavyweight, but we saw no this fight wasn't anticipated, but we saw Joe Joyce lose to um Oh Jilly Zhang. Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
that that was a decent fight to be fair. Yeah, but it wasn't highly anticipated. Yeah, it wasn't highly anticipated, but that was a that was a, I, I don't rate Joyce. I've never rated Joyce. I think he's stiff as a board. He came into boxing late, you know. Yeah. Don't rate him. I've never rated him. When people try to put him up there with the top heavyweights, I'm not. Bo- I'm no boxing expert, but just off my eyes, what I see, he is so stiff. That guy's got no head movement. We just need the full head, bro. <laughs> like literally, bro. Like he's so stiff, bro. But we see with him though, yeah, because he's got one of the. I'll be honest, he has got one of the best chins you ever seen. Yeah, but granite chin. But the problem with that though. That he's still doing damage. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 you may course, got this yeah. chin, but even yeah. though uh, you may not be getting knocked out easy, but taking those amount of hits. Yeah, long term, it's, it's gonna have some it's, effect it's, on it's, you. It's, it's having an effect. Yeah. Whether you got a credit. But I don't. Not. I just want to say I don't rate the whole. <sighs> no, having a good chin, having a good chin is important. It's great. It's amazing. Yeah, but does it make but, it all right to be hit? Exactly. You rather you wanna the aim of boxing is to hit and, and not get hit. Get hit. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So I much admire someone like a like Mayweather's defense over someone who's like, has a has a granite chin. Do you know what I'm saying? Who they used to praise back in the day for getting hit? Ricky Hatton, man. Yeah. Oh man, because he, well, yeah. but, but that's just the that's just the British, British. don't it, man? Love like their blood, sweat, and tears, yeah. isn't it? The, the hard yards. No, we got no. We got to talk about this. We got. To, did you see Mayweather and John Gotti the third? What the the mad fight? What, it was oh, turned into a real fight. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. That. I was like, hold on. I saw a clip of that. I was like, what's going on there? Yo, my man, yeah, went full uh, La Costa Nostra, bro. He went full mafia, bro. <laughs> like, literally, that was sick. Was that meant to be an exhibition? That was an exhibition. Uh, but do you know what? They didn't even market it. They didn't even promote it. Which I can kind of understand, innit? Yeah, because John Gotti, the first over there, because of um, John, John Gotti. Mm. Yeah. But do you, know, no, do you know what? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I don't condone this, yeah. But I can understand why a man was frustrated. You see that that black ref, yeah? What's his name, bro? Bailey, what, I can't remember what his name is, yeah? He's always referring Floyd Mayweather fights, yeah? Like, his face is just jarring, man. Like, them two got some relationship yeah, going on, yeah? How did... I didn't watch the fight. I just watched a clip. I just... I didn't like, even see the whole fight, yeah? How... Why was the guy going after Mayweather on a serious... I've, I've, no, I think... I think um, the referee kept on stopping the fight. Yeah. Um, and then John Gray the third just got frustrated, and he obviously he called off the fight. He got he got DQ'd, yeah. My man was like, "Fuck this, bro!" <laughs> but imagine that. But that's no, bro. No, imagine no, that, no, but bro, he's actually squaring up to Mayweather. The bot, the bot. Okay, the boxing is just finished, so you're not boxing anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is actual assault. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. If it, if it would if punches would land, it will turn into assault. You're actually squaring up to arguably the greatest boxer of all time. Do you know what? He really is a gangster, John Gotti the first. Really no, is. but even but you know, that's a bit crazy. Like, if he's angry at the ref, why are you having a real trying to have a real fight? I don't know. Like, what are you doing, bro? No I know, but I've never. Have you seen that many people in the ring before? I've yeah, ne- yeah. Nah, I don't know. Um, not that many. Isn't it like um, um, in 1997 with um, if I know Holyfield and Mike Tyson, with not the and not everyone, that. Do you not see? Do you not see the, do you, yeah, you I've seen that. that. Not seen have you it. Not seen that everyone jump in the ring when that. Because obviously that became a sort. Like you yeah. bit the guy's ear off and then everyone charged in the. Well, yeah, no, nah, that, nah, no. Nah. This one was crazy. But even no, there, was but bull, was, there was bulls breaking out inside the stadium. Like, and afterwards, um, John, one of the Gotti members, sent out some, some, some mad racist, no, mad racist Instagram post story. Oh, Floyd Mayweather, oh, your your daughter had a, had a baby with a, with an ad, with a, with an animal, so you lot belong in the zoo. Like some some racially charged fucking Wait, that? statement. One of the one of the uh, the Gotti one of the mem- one of the family members in, in the Gotti family, yeah, said Jesus. it. I think it was the mum, maybe. Just be- uh, that, that disappointed me, man, because I, I I love you. You know me, man. I love I love um I love uh, John Gotti. I love Tony Soprano, fictional. I love Godfather. I just love Italian mafia shit, man. And I've got Sicilian in me, so. But they won't, yeah, they won't accept Since me because I'm black. Because I'm not black in me. Since but, maybe you took, you yeah, I've got to yeah. Really? I've done the, yeah, the answer she tests. Well, that's, that's not... That's not it bad, makes yeah. sense, though, because I'm, I'm, I'm quarter Maltese anyway, so I've got Sicilian, Sicilian and I think... Because people think Sic, Sic, Sicily is, a t- is in Italy. It's not sort of separate. So well, I've got... Separate, si- it's separate. Yeah, I yeah. So I've got Sicilian blood in me, so... I, I should be able to qualify for the mafia, but yeah. 
Yeah, man. So that that was that was mad. So boxing's been sick up until this year, but we need to see Fury and Usk in the ring, bro. But you know what, bro? Like, I f- see Fury, man. I think that like, uh, <laughs> I love Fury, but sometimes he's a, he, he can be a so annoying. Yeah. He's no, so I think annoying. I think the public. I think the public is 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 slightly turning against him. There was actually talk about this yesterday on um, Talk Sport. Yes, um, yeah, no. Simon Jordan. Um, he, I, 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 he get him Frank Warren on, isn't it? And but you know, do you know, no nah, man, they're all pally pally up in talk sport, bro. Flipping Gareth A. Davis and all that. <coughs> but no, when but they want to bring Eddie Hearn on, yeah, it's like they want to grill my man, no, nah, man. Like keep, the same, keep, the, same keep the same energy. Keep keep the same energy. Simon does. Simon does. I think he does, but I think he does like when Frank Warren comes on, he does tone it down a little bit. Nah, Simon just says it straight, bro. He you does. Know, he does. Know, know, he does most. Yeah, he does. But when Frank Warren comes, he does tone down it. A, a, a notch. Frank Roman's always got some mad explanations. Oh, uh, do you know what? I, I, he's doing backflips from out at the moment. Frank Warren now he's old age man because of Fury. Because Fury's just a compulsive liar. So Frank Warren has to come out all the time and defend him, man. It's like, do you know where Tyson Fury says that he's fighting Joshua for free? I, See man, what I mean? We can make a whole episode on, on Fury's contradictions, man. Let's not even get, get into that, man. I just, I, I'm so sick and tired. You like your heavyweights, man? Why are you acting like prima donnas? Like, I, like, honestly, I understand it, man. I understand the whole, you don't want to lose your O or the money, pride. I, I get all that, man. But as fans, as consumers, yeah. But you know with Fury, you know what I don't understand, fans. yeah? Fury is known to be arguably the, 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 the best heavyweight in the world, yeah? He, so claim, he claims he, to be the greatest. But well, if the thing you, is, but if you, know, if he's you, arguable, though. He's arguable. So I don't understand. When he does all this, like, stupidness, yeah, where he starts messing around, where, well, he'll say not, but it seems like fights are called off, oh, you got fifteen. You got two um, weeks to sign this. Or it's not happening. I'm like, bro, but you, you, it's not like you're some someone that just talks rubbish. You're you're not you're not as good. And then yeah, you just but if you people, if so you claim that, I don't understand why he does it. If you claim that to be the go to be the greatest of all time, because he's claimed to be the greatest of all time, not just of this era, yeah. Back it up. <coughs> That's what I'm saying. Back it up. I don't want to see you giving your buddy Derek Chisora a payday. When, how yeah, how yeah, that yeah. went through that third fight I, I think was criminal and I think it actually sold out Tottenham I I thought that was just really who you who you've batted, who you've peppered twice it's before a, it's, nine, a, it's a glorified exposition, nine, it's exhibition man fought him in 2011 and fought him again in 2014 nine years ago peppered him in both fights I think you've, I think Chisora retired in his corner in the second one and for you to have a trilogy, I thought that was a disgrace. Sometimes you wonder if somebody's... And they, and they had the right to charge um, BT, uh, Queensbury, I think it was the highest pay-per-view in the UK, like £30 or something. Do you know what? I, sometimes I wonder if some of these boxing camps are actually in cahoots with each other. Oh, it's and it's joke. like, they it's pretend to beef and say, oh yeah, you're full of S, you don't sign a contract, the fighters like... Yeah. That's why I, I've, I've switched to, I mean, watch, when it's NBA, when it's the playoffs, <laughs> that's when I, I turn to a hardcore NBA fan, well, a LeBron James fan, yeah? I literally just bought 2K recently as well. Someone needs to teach me how to play that game because I'm terrible, yeah? And do you know what? I'm probably going to stick to NBA because what happened last week as a United fan, bro, I don't know, how do you feel? I don't. Well, you're an Arsenal fan. Well, you, should, you should feel worse. I don't like that City got the we, no, We're Arsenal Man United are both to blame because we could have stopped them from getting the FA Cup. You... You was in charge for how? What's the percentage? Ninety three percent on the top of the the, the table. Ninety three percent, and we booked. I don't care what anyone says, but I was having a conversation with with people I know, my friends, and that stuff. It's a bottle job, man. It, it is, isn't it? It is a bottle job because we finished five points behind, eight points. Behind. It's a thirteen point swing. Yeah. So when you add the points in front and you minus it, how much you're behind? So it's not just how much you're in front, how much you got overtaken by. Yeah. That's the swing difference. Yeah. It's a swing in a negative. It's a it's a negative swing in the wrong direction. Yeah. So, and then when you said when we said that, oh, we're throwing cups in the well, it's blessing in disguise. Bigger fish to fry. And bigger, we, I've got bigger <laughs> fish to fry. And then we don't win the league, and then we bought all the league and capitulate at the end. Similar time we capitulated the top four last season, and we miss out. Yeah. It's a it's a bottle job. How can you say it? You can dress this up, and then now with this club, I I I can't stand Edu, man. He pisses me <laughs> off. He pisses this me guy. off, man. You want to see someone hold accountable? He pisses me off with his greasy hair, man. It's annoy- it annoys me, man. Like we're pulling out the Caicedo deal. Been going for this over overrated, overpriced. No, by the way, he's good. I do like him. I do want him like rice. Mm. Paying the hundred million for rice and jerk 
peas and jerk chicken, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Seasoned and right, seasonless rice and all the things there, bro. And it's like, yeah. Going for this Kai Havertz guy, I'm like, bro. The Kai Havertz makes no piss, sense. Because you, what, you need a, you need a, a stupid you need club. a gun, man. You need a spearhead in that well, attack. Kai Havertz is not that. It does. If we do these random big transfers on some random, like last year it was 34, 35 million on this Vieira guy who was not, he's not, he's not looking great, bro. He's being random, bro. Yeah. Can't stand, can't stand this club, man. It actually pisses me what's, off. What's your expectations for next season? Well, we need to win something. Yeah. I need mean, to go for the Premier League and the Champions League. I don't want to hear this. Oh, yeah, but it's the first season back in the Champions League. Yeah. I don't want to hear all that. Go on, try and, try and win it. Yeah. What the hell? What's your predict? What's your, what's, what would be your predictions I as well? I do, man. The transfer window will say everything we need to know. Yeah. Bro, Arsenal, sh- Arsenal showed me what kind of girl they were, yeah, when in January, what they kind of moves they did. They showed me what kind of woman she, they were. <laughs> I'll be honest, bro. And I ignored the red flag. Well, I, 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 I was aware of the red flags, but... We was aware of the red flags, but a lot of us ignored the red flags uh, as a fan base, bro. She showed you who she was, bro, and she knows she told you she wasn't really good, bro. But we, our emotional attachment, made us, made us kind of like sweep under the carpet. Well, I did it anyway, but I'm a fan, bro. But I blame. The, I think the biggest issue, I'm really honest, is the fan base, bro, because Arsenal fans love dressing up failure as success. So, I talk blame, to him. Talk to him. I blame. I blame the fan base. The biggest problem. They allowed this to happen. Arsenal cheated on me so many times, man. You just seem pretty desensitized to it, buddy. It is, but yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to it, man. But do you know what, man? We talked about a lot today. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, what, 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 yeah. You go. I'll do, I'll do the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Wait, we did the outro. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. I'll do the outro. You can. Yeah, myself. Yeah, guys. Like I said, we talked about a whole bunch today. Yeah, if you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Yes, guys, please. The biggest thing you can do for me, yeah, us, is like, like the like button is free. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>